Good evening everyone, welcome to a service of night prayer for Maundy Thursday, the 9th of April 2020. If you can follow along, we're starting on page 167 of the New Zealand Prayer Book. The angels of God guard us through the night and quieten the powers of darkness. The Spirit of God be our guide and lead us to peace and to glory. It is but last labour that we haste to rise up early, and so late take rest and eat the bread of anxiety. For those beloved of God are given gifts even while they sleep. My brothers and sisters, our help is in the name of the eternal God, who is making the heavens and the earth. Dear God, thank you for all that is good, for our creation and our humanity, for the stewardship you've given us of this planet earth, for the gifts of life and of one another, for your love which is unbounded and eternal. O thou most holy and beloved, my companion, my guide upon the way, my bright evening star. We repent the wrongs we have done. We have wounded your love, O God, heal us. We stumble in the darkness, light of the world, transfigure us. For we forget that we are your home. Spirit of God, dwell in us. Eternal Spirit, living God, in whom we live and move and have our being, all that we are, have been and shall be is known to you, to the very secret of our hearts and all that rises to trouble us. Living flame, burn into us, cleansing wind, blow through us, fountain of water, well up within us, that we may love and praise in deed and in truth. Eternal Spirit, flow through our being and open our lips, that our mouths may proclaim thy praise. Let us worship the God of love. Alleluia, alleluia. The psalm appointed for this evening is Psalm 39. If you have a copy, we can read it together. I said, I will be watchful over my ways, lest I should offend with my tongue. I will bridle my mouth so long as the wicked are before my eyes. I was dumb and kept silent. I refrained from speaking, but my distress became more painful. My heart grew hot within me, and at the thought of it the fire kindled and my tongue broke out into speech. Lord, let me know my end and the number of my days, that I may learn how fleeting is my life. You have made my days but a hand's breath, and my lifetime is as nothing in your sight. Even at our best, each one of us is only a puff of wind. We go about like phantoms and trouble ourselves to no purpose. We leap up we heap up riches and cannot tell who will gather them. And now what do I hope for? Indeed, truly, my hope is in you. Deliver me from all my offences and do not, do not make me the butt of fools. I was dumb. I did not open my mouth because it was your doing. Take away your scourge from me. I am crushed by the stroke of your heavy hand. When you rebuke us and chasten us for our sin, you consume all we treasure, like a moth eating away a garment. It is so with all of us. Truly, each is no more than a puff of wind. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear to my cry. Do not be silent at my tears. For I am only a passing guest in your house, a wayfarer, as all my forebears, forebears were. Turn your frowning gaze from me, that I may smile again, before I go from here 
and obscene no more. Our Old Testament reading is from the book of Exodus, chapter 11, beginning at the first verse. Now the Lord says to Moses, I will bring one more plague on Pharaoh and on Egypt. After that, he will let you go from here, and when he does, he will drive you out completely. Tell the people that men and women alike are to ask their neighbours for articles of silver and gold. The Lord made the, made the Egyptians favourably disposed towards the people, and Moses himself was highly regarded in Egypt by Pharaoh's officials and by the people. So Moses said, this is what the Lord says. About midnight I will go throughout Egypt. Every firstborn son in Egypt will die from the firstborn son of Pharaoh who sits on the throne to the firstborn son of the female slave who is at her hand mill and all the firstborn of the cattle as well. There will be loud wailing throughout Egypt worse than there has ever been or ever will be again. But among the Israelites not a dog will bark at any person or animal. Then you will know that the Lord makes a distinction between Egypt and Israel. All those these officials of yours will come to me, bowing down before me and saying, Go, you and all your people who follow you. After that I will leave. Then Moses, hot with anger, left Pharaoh. The Lord said to Moses, Pharaoh will refuse to listen to you, so that my wonders may be multiplied in Egypt. Moses and Aaron performed all these wonders before Pharaoh, but the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart, and he would not let the Israelites go out of his country. Our New Testament reading this evening is from the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, beginning at the 11th verse. Therefore remember that formerly you who were Gentiles by birth and called uncircumcised by those who called themselves the circumcision, which is done in the body by human hands, remember that at the time you were separate from Christ, excluded from citizenship in Israel and foreigners to the covenant of the promise, without hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far away have been brought near by the blood of Christ. For he himself is our peace. He has made the two groups one and has destroyed the barrier, the dividing wall of hostility, by setting aside in his flesh the law with its commands and regulations. His purpose was to create in himself one new humanity out of the two, thus making peace, and in one body to reconcile both of them to God through the cross, by which he put to death their hostility. He came and preached peace to you who were far away, and peace to those who were near. For through him we both have access to the Father by one Spirit. It is the God who said, let light shine out in darkness, who has shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels to show that transcendent power belongs to God and not to us. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair. Struck down, but not destroyed. Always carrying in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be manifest in our body. Into your hands, O God, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O God of truth, and love. Keep me, O God, as the apple of an eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. 
Preserve us, O God, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in your peace. We say together the words of the Nunc Dimittis, the Song of Simeon. Praise be to God, I have lived to see this day. God's promise is fulfilled and my duty done. At last you have given me peace, for I have seen with my own eyes the salvation you have prepared for all nations. A light to the world in its darkness and the glory of your people Israel. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. And we say together the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. I will lie down in peace and take my rest. For it is in God alone that I dwell unafraid. Let us bless the earth maker, the pain bearer, the life giver. Let us praise and exalt God above all forever. May God's name be praised beyond the furthest star, glorified and exalted above all forever. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. The blessing of God, the eternal goodwill of God, the shalom of God, the wildness and the warmth of God be among us and between us now and always. The divine spirit dwells in us. Thanks be to God. Good night everyone. Tomorrow being Good Friday we have a service at 9 a.m. A second service at 2 p.m. and evening prayer or night prayer at 7 p.m. I hope you're able to join me for those. God bless.